Compared to the arithmetic combinations of functions, composite functions is another type of more complicated way to combine functions. Let's look at this example. If the gas mileage of a car is 27 miles per gallon, based on this relation, we can write a function, gallons of gas consumed as a function of miles driven. Gx equals to 1 over 27x. In this case, x, the independent variable, represents miles driven, and the output of this function represents gallons of gas. If gas price is $3 per gallon, based on this relation, we can write a separate function cost of gas as a function of gallons of gas consumed, fx equals to 3 times x. Notice how the output of the gx function, gallons of gas, becomes the input of the second function. Based on that, we can combine these two functions and write another function, cost of gas, as a function of miles driven directly. And this new function is the composite function of f and g. f composed with g, we evaluate it using the same way, evaluating any f function, we substitute x with gx, but since gx equals to 1 over 27x, we substitute that in, and then eventually we get 1 over 9x. You can try on your own to see if you are writing this function yourself, cost of gas as a function of miles of driven, algebraically, if you will come to the same conclusion, if you would write the same function. Therefore, for two functions, here I'm using fx equals to 2x plus 1 and gx equals to x squared minus 3 as an example. The composite function of f with g is denoted by f circle g, and that equals to f within the parenthesis gx. And we evaluate this composite function the same way we evaluate any function. We substitute the x in the f function with gx. And then because gx equals to x squared minus 3, we substitute that in, rearrange and simplify, and get 2x squared minus 5. If we want to evaluate this composite function at, say, x equals to 2, we can simply take this function that we just derived, 2x squared minus 5, and then substitute in x with 2 and evaluate, and that equals to 3. Or what we can do is to first evaluate the g function at x equals to 2, which is 2 squared minus 3, that equals to 1. And then we take this 1, we take this output of the g function. And this 1 now becomes the input of the f function. And that equals to 2 times 1 plus 1 and equals to 3. As you can see, the two different approaches will give you the same answer. On the other hand, if we want to find the composite function g composed with f, see we switched the order, this is denoted by g circle fx, and it equals to g within the parentheses fx. At the independent variable position of g, you put in fx. And this is, again, just like evaluating any other g function, we substitute x equals to fx at the x position. Therefore, we have fx squared minus 3. And then, because fx equals to 2x plus 1, we substitute that in, and then rearrange, and then simplify, we will get 4x squared plus 4x minus 2. As you can see, this is not the same as f composed with g function. Let's look at this example. What is f composed with g composed with hx function if f, g, and h functions are all given? For this problem, we need to start with g composed with h function. Since g function is 4 over x, therefore, g composed with h is 4 over hx, and hx equals to x squared minus 2. We substitute that in, 
Therefore, this becomes 4 over x squared minus 2. So we take this output, and now it becomes the input for the f function. Therefore, for the f function, we substitute the x with g composed with h function, and we substitute g composed with h function in, which is 4 over x squared minus 2, and that equals to negative 2 multiplied by 4 over x squared minus 2 plus 1, and then we rearrange and we simplify, and we get x squared minus 10 over x squared minus 2, and that is the answer.